Dear Smyrna Eve Galea, Og et skæt mine fortsæt blod. Good afternoon and welcome to the launch of the Brigidine Bicentenary celebrations. This day, St. Bridget's Day, 200 years ago, here in Tullow, Bishop Daniel Delaney, Bishop of Kildare and Lachlan, gathered together the first Brigidine women, giving them St. Bridget as their patroness, inspiration and model. This is holy ground. We're standing on holy ground. This bicentenary year is a very special milestone in our Brigidine story. And it is so wonderful this day to see so many join together with us to join in our celebrations. A very special welcome to Uttaran Nahern, Mara Vigila Isa. President McAleese, thank you for gracing us with your presence today. Welcome to Bishop Jim Moriarty, Bishop of Kildare and Lachlan, and the twelfth successor to Bishop Daniel Delaney. <laughs> Welcome to Monsignor Brendan Byrne and Father Andy Leahy, the present priests of Tunnel. Many of the priests who ministered in Tolo in the past here today, we have bishops, we have priests and sisters from different dioceses, parishes and congregations, and welcome to you all. A very special welcome to the Church of Ireland ministers and their friends. Cade Mila Fortune to the Patrician Brothers, who were also founded by Bishop Daniel Delaney on the 2nd of February, 1808. Patrician Brothers noted, he said, Bishop Dan Delaney must have perceived the founding of the Brigidine Sisters a big success to take the risk to found the Patricians a year later. <laughs> Welcome to members of the Carlo County Council. It is so wonderful to see here today so many people, young, young people joining in our celebrations. Many of the members of our own families are here today who support us in so many ways. We have with us present teachers, past teachers, present pupils, past pupils, co-workers, card breed from other cultures and nations, and welcome to you all. Many of your ancestors would have known Bishop Daniel Delaney. Our early sisters came from your ancestral families. Just listen to their names, I'm sure there are many of them, these names among our congregation today. Eleanor Tallon, Bridget Bryan, Judith Whelan, Margaret Kinsella, Eleanor Dawson and Catherine Doyle. It is so fitting that we begin our bicentenary celebration in this Church of the Most Holy Rosary, 
where Bishop Delaney would have shared the Eucharist with the people of Tolo many times. We remember today with deep affection the great Brigidian women who have gone before us to their eternal reward. Many of their relatives have joined us today. From our earliest days, back in 1807, we have been gifted with women who took up the dream of Bishop Delaney. What greater tribute to his memory than the commitment of lives to his vision and mission? We give thanks today for the abundant goodness of God as we celebrate 200 years of service with God's people. On the journey, we have been accompanied by many faithful friends and colleagues who have shared the hard work, the joys, sorrows <coughs> along the way and enriched our lives greatly. We recall with gratitude the sisters who have contributed so much to the Brigidine life and mission and who have now chosen a different walk of life. We are delighted to have you with us today. Our theme for 2007 is heritage and horizon. Ours is a rich heritage. Bishop Delaney, in choosing St. Bridget as our model, emphasised that he was not founding a new congregation, but rather refounding the Sisters of St. Bridget, linking our congregation to the spiritual heritage of St. Bridget of Kildare. St. Bridget, a woman of vision and courage, a peacemaker, a woman of deep faith, justice and hospitality, with, with the great love of all creation. Ours is a story of ordinary women in our splendour and frailty. Human, flawed, and with sparks of greatness. Each era had its own challenge, and over the decades we have tried to read and respond to the, to the signs of the times. The call of Bishop Delaney to free people through education, rich and poor alike, women and men, boys and girls, has been and is our response. Our horizons have widened to struggling, developing communities and parishes, asylum seekers and refugees, travellers, and in the 21st century, new needs have emerged. Thousands of displaced people, exploited women and children through trafficking, our damaged planet in need of healing, a search by so many people for healing, holistic and spiritual living. This jubilee time of our 200 years is a time of great joy and thanksgiving. It is also a time for us to acknowledge and to say sorry for our mistakes. We didn't always get it right. May Bishop, Delaney, Bishop Delaney's focus on love and his dying wish for us to live together in peace and charity. May Bishop's flame continue to ignite all of us with a passion for justice and peace. Bishop Delaney had the imagination to revive the old order of St. Bridget on February the 1st, 200 years ago. We don't know how God is re-imaging the continuation of the gift of Bridget in life in the church and in the world into the future. But we remain open to the mystery of life and we trust and we believe in the spirit to guide and lead us to new horizons. And to end, I'm going to quote some lines from a poem written by the late Holy, Holy Father, Pope Paul II, before he ever became Pope. He wrote this poem on a return visit to Rome, as we are on a return visit to the 
holy ground of Tana today. I quote, This place is important. This place is holy. The stones have been replaced many times. The place is holy because we are here. I find myself in the same landscape, seeing it at the same time a place of meeting. I do not make a pilgrimage to stones. There is a sense of rediscovery of self in the landscape. To this I make my pilgrimage. This place is holy. End of quote. It is in, on this holy ground of Tono that we all now join in this, our celebration of the Eucharist in joy and thanksgiving for 200 years of Brigidine life and mission. I hope you all enjoy the day. Thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Lord, you are the living water, the source of our life. We ask you now to bless this water we have come. By being together today, we pray that we will continue to appreciate our gifts, encourage and support each other, and be channels of your life-giving water for all with whom we come in contact. We make this our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.